I'm uh, Marcus Covert. I'm an assistant professor of bioengineering, and I love systems biology. <laughs> What's bioengineering? It's this beautiful thing. <laughs> well, there's no place like Stanford. Uh, and the big reason, I would say, is because, like, you take my office uh, in the Clark Center here. If I look out one window, I see one of the best engineering schools in the world, and if I look out the other window, I see one of the best medical schools in the world. I don't think a single day goes by where I don't hear something that just completely blows my mind. And I go home and, you know, tell my wife, that's the dinner conversation, right? All of these brilliant minds kind of on both sides uh, of what I, of, of the area that I'm interested in, bioengineering. And so, you know, you read the newspapers, it seems like almost every week you read the paper and you'll read an article like, cancer gene discovered or obesity gene discovered. And you might wonder why we haven't cured all those things already, right? So um, the reason we haven't is because cancer is not a one gene problem. Okay? It's thousands of things coming together, genes, environmental factors, all of these different things. But the hard part about trying to figure something like that out is just that no one person can wrap their mind around all of those things at once. I read this article in the New York Times which said, wouldn't it be an amazing thing if one day we had a computer model that could take every gene in a cell into account? Um, and I think about that quote pretty much every single day of my life. Uh, so one thing that is a huge goal of the lab, and I'm uh, excited to say will be finished probably sometime this year, is to make the first ever computer model of an entire cell. And it used to be, when I was growing up, that biology was the science that you would take if you didn't want to learn any math. But now that's not the case anymore. And so really what I do is I make these models, like I said, of pathways and networks uh, as opposed to just single genes, just looking at indirect effects, trying to, to find all of the potential factors that might lead to a behavior and then make a model of that. And then I like to go take those models and use them to help me uh, perform experiments and learn new things. So I've found that using models to guide me has helped me to make discoveries faster than I would without one. So it, for me, bioengineering is just a chance to really have fun and be excited about doing things that could make a difference.